I have to admit, I've never been a big fan of the Nissan Rogue. To me, it was just another crossover utility vehicle. There's plenty of competition out there. So what Nissan did is redesign the Rogue, made it a little bigger, longer, uh, a lot roomier inside. It's built on a car frame. And when you build on a car frame as opposed to a truck frame, well, it's a little lower so you don't have the clearance, but it's also a lot more comfortable. You get a lot better uh, gas mileage out of it, and you can put a lot more creature comforts in it. So Nissan, like other car companies, is having a pretty good year. In fact, it's having a better year than most. And one of the reasons is this Rogue, which is selling 20% better than the previous model. And a couple of reasons why. One is this uh, extra seat in the back, this bench in the back, where you can fit a few other smaller citizens that might be hanging around. If you want to haul a soccer team around, then you got most of your defense in here. They retail for about twenty-two dollars to $30,000. The Rogue has some interesting safety features. It's got cameras on four corners of the car, also a forward-facing camera and a rear-view camera. The instrument panel is not the greatest thing in the world, and there have been some uh, criticisms that the, some of the uh, control buttons to the left here are, are a little bit inconvenient, but that's just a minor complaint. This particular model is the all-wheel drive model. Most of them are front-end drive models. This is a 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine. It puts out about 170 horsepower. A relatively efficient engine. You can get more than 30 miles a gallon on the highway with this. You're not going to go four-wheel driving in this. You're not going to be uh, pulling a boat. You're going to be hauling your kids and the groceries and the other gear of your life around. This engine is not going to blow anyone off the road, but then again, it really doesn't have to. It, it gets the job done 